On today's episode of Days of Our Lives, Jada's suspicions grow as word spreads that Xander and Chloe are living together. At the Salem PD, Rafe shows Jada the latest Lady Whistleblower article about them being kissing cops. Rafe is eager to confront Sloane with the book because he believes she is the one who leaked the information. He might even tack on an obstruction of justice charge. Jada says if Sloane's the one who committed the crimes against Chanel and Paulina, is she still worried about her sister? Rafe queries. Talia exits Colin's hotel room wearing only a bra and underpants. He shows her Leo's piece about Jada. She regrets that the contaminated biscuits caused this. Colin explains to her that she simply drugged the cookies as retaliation for his family's abuse by Channel. He adores her for putting an injustice right. He says Channel needs to be given more attention. Channel tells Paulina through tearful eyes that the health department shut her down in front of sweet bits. Paulina understands that it's only a matter of time before the inquiry establishes that Sloane spiked the biscuits. She won't permit Channel to abandon her ambition. Paulina moves away, reminding Channel that her stepfather is the mayor. Talia is informed by Channel that she is not required to report to work. As Talia speaks, Colin gives her a neck kiss. After discovering Abe is attending a meeting at the police station, Paulina comes back. She'll track him down there. Gwen concerns about Leo's expenditures on massages and room service while they are staying at a hotel. She informs an incredulous Leo that they must locate another housing. Leo is prompted to go to look for an apartment when Alex knocks on the door. Alex responds to Gwen's pawing by suggesting that they stop sharing a bed. Dr. Evans has helped him see that it's inappropriate for him to use her as a way to avoid dealing with his emotions. Gwen purrs that she doesn't mind being used. Alex believes that she ought to because this is unhealthy for both of them. He is aware that both of them are using sex as a diversion. Gwen hesitates but eventually says she's still inconsolable over Xander. Gwen figures he's not over Stephanie either. Alex maintains this has nothing to do with another lady, but the reality that his life is a disaster. He must look ahead rather than backward. Chloe and Xander look around an apartment. Chloe isn't yet convinced, even if he says it's wonderful. She looks for mold while he dashes off to do more research. Brady walks in. He has come to inspect the location for himself and Rachel. When Xander comes back, he advises Chloe to take it. Brady snaps. What the hell is this? Chloe makes it clear that she and Xander will only share a room. Brady finds it hard to believe she would ever consider residing with him. Brady tries to make his case and Chloe becomes upset. The men engage in combat when Xander commands him to back off. Leo enters slowly, anticipating a tale. He makes notes as the three discusses their purpose for being there. Brady reaches out to grab Leo when he refers to Rachel as a demon seed. Leo is told he works for Xander as he is blocked by him. Leo's work there is finished, according to Xander, who breaks his pencil. Rafe informs Jada at the station that Talia lacked a key to Polina's workplace. Polina later visits the station in search of Abe. Jada apologizes for missing him and inquires as to if anyone had access to her keys the night her office was broken into. Helena recalls Sloane confronting her in the square the day her purse was discovered to be open. It was the day Jada's sister was presented to her by Channel. Hospitalization was caused by Channel's cookies, so she visits him in his office to apologize. Rafe respects it but understands that it's solely her fault for being an overly skilled baker. Raf's desk has a picture of Ali and Henry, which Channel notices. She remarks on Henry's size and how content Ali appears to be. Rife's statement that Ali is doing well and making friends makes her more emotional. Channel runs out of the office, giving the impression that she is seeing someone. Talia in the motel believes Colin's desire for vengeance will be satiated by the closure of the bakery. On the contrary, Colin won't stop until Channel has the same level of suffering that she had Sloane and him go through. Time will tell if she enjoys having her heart shattered. It's the ideal time for Talia to swoop in, sweep her off her feet, and shatter her heart all over again because Ali just recently dumped her. As Talia notes, she is neither gay nor bi. Colin is all she wants, yet he's trying to sell her out. He assures her that he only wants her, thus their relationship won't be genuine. Channel, on the other hand, will become completely enamored. Talia doubts her ability to accomplish this. Colin promises Talia that because he would finally receive justice for his mother,
This will end his mood swings and melancholy. He is confident that she will succeed for him. After kissing her, they return to the bed. Leo informs the others in the apartment that he was only being mean to them. Sander claims first dibs when Leo feels Gwen will adore the location. Brady questions whether Xander will even approach Chloe. Sander reasoned that since he was paying the bill, he should have the last say. Chloe gets upset when Brady makes the remark that she is a kept woman. They are taking the apartment since she will pay her share once she finds employment. She gives Xander a hug. Leo goes back to the Salem Inn after Alex has departed. Gwen, who is upset, reveals that Alex dumped her. She inquires about the residence. Leo hesitantly informs her that Xander and Chloe have started dating. As Chloe enters the apartment, Brady reflects out the window. He declares his love for her and expects she feels the same way. He believes she should avoid becoming close to Xander. Colin is at his door as Sander passes him in the motel hallway. I assumed it was bakery girl's room, Sander remarks as he peers at him. While Channel is cleaning, Talia enters the bakery's kitchen. When Channel complains about her awful day, Talia offers to cheer her up and gives her a kiss. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel, Daily Bulletin News, and stay with us.